Alright. Yeah, it is. Oh, so scary. Let's do it. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. For those of you that don't know, my name is Zay, and in today's video, we are going to be finally installing the suspension for the Lexus LS400 build. Today is also January 2nd, that means it is the new year, so the holidays are done, and I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday season. But we do have an eventful video for you guys planned. We have all the guys coming. We're gonna have my buddy, Pierre come out here. Pierre's been a long time friend of mine. He's gonna be helping me, me install the bags. Adam's gonna be also here helping me install the bags. And then Mike and Tenor are here, of course. So let's go ahead and get today's video started. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Pound it. Hi, good morning. Pound it. We have the Lexus fully beat up. Oh. Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning. What's up? So, giving you guys an update, we are inside the trunk right now. As you guys can see, we have wires going through the left trunk grommet, and then we have wires going through the right trunk grommet. Right now, we have both harnesses going through, so we can run those through the car. And then right down here, down here, we have that 3P controller as well. Um, Pierre did leave us to go get some tools, but that's kind of an update of how it looks in the trunk right now. We have all the parts out. And then this is the inside of the cabin. Like I said, we have the left side grommet and then the driver side grommet running all the way through. And then we're gonna go ahead and run them to the kicker panels all the way and then drill them through the floorboard down there. And also we have it through the firewall over there. So that's kind of just a mid update for you guys. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start taking out the OEM struts out. So once we're ready, we can go ahead and put the new ones in and then go ahead and get everything connected and go ahead and go from there. Yeah. Was that it, B? That's why Pierre was invited. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Let's go out that way. Up and out, baby girl. Oh, I got it. I got you. Oh. Ah. Okay. Note, to self. Right. Note to self. Pierre's doing the other side. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's it. Oh my, is that him? Oh hi, this is where I live. Oh, oh, just, this is your room? He just keeps me in the closet and I gotta do like small merch deals. Like, oh dude, dude. Oh, that's cute. Is that just All right. from there? All right, you know what? Just show me, show me what you got here, dude. Show so, me, show me what you got. got some of these dandy little uh, retro kind of hoodies, which none of you guys are gonna know what low times are because Fast times is an old person, <laughs> so I don't really know. But uh, yeah, I just want to make sure Zay is looking nice and sexy for the winter. Dude, so. thank you so much. I'm Huge shout out. I'm expecting naked fireplace pictures. So. Dude, just these, nothing else. There you go. Huge shout out to Casey. Casey's the owner of Stance Quarters. Casey is working on some big things with Bosque Brewing and also his UCF 10. But what's your raw reaction of the GMR wheels? I need to change my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Them a little bit. <laughs> and then the other one I'm not gonna get into, but yeah, those are, those are pretty. Those are it? You're gonna make me kind of look like a little, little bitch boy with my baby face. <laughs> well, if you guys want to go ahead and follow Casey, go show him some love. All his stuff will be down below. Or hate, whatever you want. <laughs> All right, guys, there we have it. We have the OEM struts from the front of the Lexus, and then we have the new front bags from Airlift Performance. I am super excited to be doing this on the car, and also a huge shout out to the guys for helping me today. Without them, this wouldn't be possible. Hi, what are, you, what are you working on? Uh, I'm running the lines right now, so I ran them all the way up to the front, um, so. Really good. Yeah, well, <laughs> we just gotta, we just gotta make sure, we just gotta punch, punch, a, uh, punch a hole in the firewall. Got you. Let's go ahead and give them a little look. So, do that right grommet in there. 
here it has these wires going all the way through through the kicker panel and the same thing with the front all the way through and what we were just talking about we're gonna go ahead and get you the hole through the grommet through the firewall to go ahead and get those connected through there yeah. he's the skirt skirt boy there you go cool like uh, we can also put a nice this is I really think like here. Back there? Yeah. Just so once we are, the tire and everything won't rub it yeah, out. Yeah, I just don't want to run any, I don't want to run any issues with it. That'd be like perfect. I don't think anything would hit back there. It's just on full lock or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know how wide your tires are. I mean, we could put them on there and, and kind of see yeah. how it would look full lock and then see if we have enough clearance to run that. Yeah, let's put, put the, the, let's put, let's put your big wheels. Yeah. Oh, the big boy? Yeah. yeah. Good morning, good morning, day two. Let's get it. Look at my Uber. I don't think anyone else can say they have the same Uber as me. What's up, man? Yeah. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> man, one of these days. Yep, you get there. They're fun, man. Have a good one. Same. Yep. <laughs> Breaking next, boy. Ooh, love it. Go show that Corvette what's up. What's up guys, welcome back to the second portion of the video so we can show you guys the final install for the Lexus build. We're gonna be finishing that up today for you guys, but first things first, huge shout out to Casey, the owner of Stance Quarters, and also known as Sir Stancy Sting. Thank you for the new merch, I appreciate it. But also a huge thank you to Pierre. Without Pierre coming out, I wouldn't be learning anything today. So huge shout out to those guys. If you wanna go follow them, go ahead and go down below and follow them. But let's go ahead and give you guys an update of how the car is looking right now, what else we need to do to get this job done. Just an overall update, the front bags, are installed those are ready to go everything is tightened up we have the leader line going in and then we will let you guys know once we make a hole going into the firewall and then of course we have the harness on this side everything running through here right now we undid the top hat bolts for both the driver and then passenger side and then back here everything is getting pretty much connected for right now we're going to run the tank and then the two compressors on top of the rear lining and then later on of course i could do a trunk set up if I really wanted to. All right, like I said, Lexus is where we left it yesterday. Pierre is doing Kyle things with his monster. So what we were working on just now was, we did take out the OEM struts from the rear. These are what they look like. Pierre wanted me to get the close up for you guys to show you how blown these were. This looks super healthy. But with that being said, these are the new rear bags. All we have to do now is put the leader lines in and then go ahead and mount them to the rear of the car. So, Pierre's gonna show you what he did with the harness to the kicker panel and explain what he wired in and how it all works. Yeah, so pretty much all I did is I, uh, I just, so this is the year ignition line and all I did was I found a ignition source through this little kicker panel and all I did was I tapped into that. He shrank the, uh, the butt connector and now you guys should be good. So the bags will start once the car is turned over. So that's what it means by when it's ignition and then would you wanna explain the add a fuse? Oh yeah, so there's there's a cool little setup where you can add a fuse. It's like a, uh, you pull out a fuse, you put that fuse holder back in and you can wire it up. But the ones that we got were like too small. So we just did the alternate, what we did in the beginning. So you could go either way, but that's how it works with turning on the bags with the ignition. All right guys, so all four bag struts are now in, so we are ready to start running the lines through. Um, one thing right now where we're having an issue is, I didn't want to run, or actually me and Mike were talking, we didn't want to run the lines outside of the car just because we want to make sure that the lines were safe and nothing was gonna happen. So what we're gonna do is run the lines through the car, and we did come up with the issue of how we're gonna get them through the firewall of the front of the car, but what we found out is if I cut through the passenger side grommet, what I can do is run a line through the kicker panel of the passenger side, run it through the glove box, and then through that grommet, and then hopefully we can get the line through there to drop it back down to connect to the front passenger strut. So let's go to give you guys a look of how that looks right now. All right, so this is the passenger side of the car. As I said before, I took the glove box off, and if we look up there, I'm gonna have the, what I'm doing is I dropped a line here and then this is the connected line that is connected to the management. So what is, is ready, I can just pull this through to the grommet and then I can drop it down 
outside in the engine bay. Now looking at that passenger side grommet, as you guys can see, I have this line through. What we're gonna have Mike do is pull this line while I'm pushing the old line so we can get the line through and hopefully we can run the lines through the engine bay. All right, ready? Yeah. Go ahead. So we're gonna have Mike pull it while I feed it through and then hopefully Mike gets it on the other side. What's up? You got it? Let's go! Mike said he sees tape. Let's see, there it is. Boom, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this through the kicker panel, through the glove box to this grommet, and I'm gonna drop it down to this left grommet down here so we can go ahead and then reach this line down here, and then we can get air to the front struts. So once it's ready, set, and done, we can run this airline through the kicker panel, and then I will tuck it through here up into the glove box, reassemble everything, and then once I put these panels back on, it will have that clean, slim look where you won't see the lines, and then it, we can run it all the way through the back. Look who's back to the second part of the bag install video. But moving to the back, G and my dad did come down to help us get everything figured out in the trunk, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. Take 17, this is the manifold. The manifold is the center where the spare wheel was at. This is the in for the filter. I got it right, dude, I got it right finally. This is the out, so when we uh, air out or need air, we'll have that. And then we have the four lines to the front and rear struts. We have both harnesses over here, and then we have the leader lines for the driver bag, or driver rear bag, and then of course the passenger rear bag. Those are all zip tied up, everything is clean here. For right now, me and the guys did decide that we don't want to do a trunk setup just yet. I really just want to get the car on the floor and everything figured out. So right now we're just gonna clean this up and then get the uh, floorboard back on. We're gonna do both compressors on the tank in there. Later on down the road, we can finally do a trunk setup. But for right now, this is how everything's gonna look. So I just wanna say huge shout out to all my friends for coming out and helping with me with this and also my family. My dad and brother did come out. So a huge shout out to you guys. Adam for taking awesome video and footage of this. Mike for helping me out. Pierre for helping me out. If you wanna show any support to these guys, go ahead down below and show them some love. All right guys, so as of right now, the bags are in, tank is in, two compressors are in, all the lines are ran, everything is wired up. Um, we do have an issue right now, only one compressor is getting air. Um, so, I mean, that's not the worst thing. They're actually testing it right now to see if everything's okay. Uh, we don't know if it's a bad ground or how the fuses are in the front, so we're gonna be checking that. But as of right now, everything's going good. We're gonna be seeing what that issue is and hopefully we can fix it. And then right now we're also running a temporary trunk setup just until I'm ready. And then we can get everything rewired up, everything how I really want it and have that perfect trunk setup. So right now we're gonna drop it on the floor and then start configuring with the uh, management and controller. 48 PSI, 49 PSI, 50 PSI. All right, we're getting air. Hopefully everything is looking good right now. We did just put the fuses in up there and then my dad and Mike are also working with the compressors to see how everything is going right now. If we're getting air to the lines and if the compressors are actually going. Do you have height sensors? No. Vehicle will now move, are you ready? Yes. Checking mounting. We're still at 149. Yeah. Because if you have if you have height sensors, if you have height sensors, it's gonna figure out where your right height should be. <laughs> so I, don't, I don't like noises, dude. Let it go, it's gonna calibrate, it's gonna do this thing. Oh dude, yes! Yes! Why did I do this before? <laughs> Dude! <laughs> I can't get over this! <laughs> oh, oh my... I don't like that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Oh, man. Dude, if that's my right height, I'm losing my mind. Dude, look at the reverse rake. Look at the rake. Oh, I'm telling you, it looks like the Uggs, dude. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah? <laughs> yes, I do know. Ready to use. Okay. Exit. So exit. And then can we just lift it up? Yeah. So now you can go in and manually do them. So the backs are higher, that's why it's lifted higher? So you can do this for now. Individuals? So you your presets or whatever. It's okay. Nice. You might have to look and see how to do your presets. Yeah, you should probably look and see how. Worry. Like, if your struts aren't set up right, then you're going to have to go really high PSI to get said. that off That's the ground. That's what he said. That's what he said. Oh, the rotor was set right. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, so sitting in the car, this is what the remote looks like right now. Let's see. Oh. All right, guys, sitting in the car, this is what the remote looks like right now. We are sitting about 100 in the front, 73 in the back. This is probably going to be the right eight for now until we go ahead and go in the remote and set everything up. Um, I definitely know that we ch checked this earlier that when we. So we did check it earlier, riding at 100 in the front. We do have full turn lock. We don't hear anything. The guys did check it. We are all good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this out and then I can give you guys a brief description how everything looks. All right. Let's do it. Oh, I don't know how to act. <laughs> oh yeah. Woo! This is it. <laughs> Oh, dude, and you just get out <laughs> at the, oh, man, get out at the nursing home. Oh, dude, this is it. Oh, boy. You're already winking. Just wait till my girl sees it. All right, guys, the car is finally bagged. We're at a temporary stage right now. Later on, in some more videos, we're going to go ahead and do a better trunk setup, redo everything, but I just want to get the car on the floor bag, and as you guys can see, it looks truly Amazing to me. I see potential, but it looks great. Huge shout out to Pierre, huge shout out to Adam, huge shout out to Mike, my brother, and my dad. Without these guys, today's install wouldn't be possible. I hope you guys liked today's video. If you guys did, leave a thumbs up, like the video. But, and as per usual, no matter how to fight your life, to always remain humble and always try to make a difference. Deuce!